G'day else people in the internet, my name is Baran and welcome back to another video. We are doing something a little bit different today. Now, every time I've done a video, it's always been about the 80s, but this time we're gonna take the 80s, we're gonna, we're just gonna move it over there for today. We're not gonna, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave him for today, uh, but we're gonna go and bring in that's right. The 90s. I was born in the 90s. I lived and breathed. Well, obviously I lived and breathed. I was born in then. But when you're a 90s kid, there is one thing that uh, you're very you're very adapt to, and that is cartoon. A lot of 90s ca cartoons came out that pretty much shaped uh, the way we live in society nowadays. And I thought that I wanted to go back and just see if I can actually remember these cartoons by doing a little quiz on the... 90s cartoons and I've just been gonna see if my 90s cartoon knowledge is still tucked away somewhere in the Dulon Ablon Gata, even though that controls my heart and my lungs and everything, but I think it's there. It's it's bit well it is it's been my heart and soul. So let's uh let's see. Well I've gone on Maggie quiz and there was a thing that said uh can you ace this 90s quiz uh 90s cartoon quiz uh, relive your childhood with the 90s cartoon quiz. The 90s are considered too many of the golden age of cartoon. They were weird, they were quirky, they were perfect. The 90s gave us classics like Spongebob, Rub Rugrats, Animatics, and DuckTales. Bizarre creations that can never be equal today. If you grew up in the 90s, you knew the joy of waking up early on a Saturday morning, race to the TV, and spending hours fighting with your siblings over who gets the remote. That is absolutely true. Uh, this quiz is your time machine back to the 90s. Hop in and see how well you remember the te tech technicolor animation, weird premises, pre premises, yes, and the great characters of those Saturday morning cartoons. If you're a true 90s kid, you'll definitely ace this one, but if you're missing out on any of the cultural giants of the decade, you might struggle. Let's find out uh, where you fall in the ranking system Pull out the remote and let's go. Alright, so I'm actually going to leave the link to this as well so you can play along with me. But let's get stuck into it. Question 1. This cartoon featured the main character whose last name was Funny and a, uh, and a love interest named Patty Mayonnaise. Come on. Everyone knows who that is. That's Doug. That, that's little Dougie. Gotta, gotta, you gotta love little Doug. I enjoyed Doug for a little bit. Question two. Perhaps the most famous bit from this show was when Yoko sang a song of every country in the world. Ooh, what was... That was the animatics. Everyone knows who these are. They're the animatics. They, they were the they were the OG of the W... Uh, well, they were the OGs of the uh, Warner Brothers, you know, adventures. So. Question three. You definitely know these babies. What are the names of the two twins of Rugrats? Come on. Is this is this supposed to be a hard quiz? It's Phil and Lil. Everyone knows that. Number four. Oh, we know this guy. This show gave rise to one of the most iconic memes, the Nigel face. Uh, who was it? The Wild Thornberries. Everyone knows. It's fucking, that's Tim Curry right there. Tim Curry is a legend. Number five. In Cat Dog, what was the dog's favorite pastime? Ooh. Um... The chasing cars, chasing his tail, he didn't have one, digging holes or playing fetch. I believe it was chasing cars, because it's in the actually opening of the thing. Well, in the opening of the cartoon, because the car goes past and you just see him chase after it. I believe that's the the right one. Oh no. <laughs> we all know these two, and holy fuck, how the fuck they got away with a lot of things was just mind-blowing. I think if you watched Ren and Stimpy nowadays, holy fuck. But number six, in Ren and Stimpy, what kind of dog was Ren? He was a Chihuahua. That's what he was. That's it's pretty pretty simple on that one. Number seven, in Hey Arnold, the protagonist had a very distinct head shape. What was it? Uh move it, football head. We all we all know that. Come on, I'm sure when you think of Hey Arnold, you just picture that football head. Number eight, what are Pinky and the Brain going to do tonight? Hint. It's the same thing they do every night. Uh, I think it's, uh, ooh, try to escape the lab, try to take over the world, do experiments on humans, sabotage the lab. I think they were trying. They're trying to take over the, I, I can't do the voice. I used to be able to do the voice, but now it just sounds like, you know, sounds kind of weird. <laughs> Number nine. 
Which of these characters was not one of the main protagonists in Recess? Mikey, Gretcha, Spinelli, TJ, Randall, Vince, Gus. Um, oh, no, Spinelli was. Um, oh, that's a, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I think it was Vince. I'm going to go with Vince. I, uh, Spinelli did sound like, oh, like uh, Spinelli. And then I sort of thought, like, see, no, Spinelli was definitely in that. It was definitely in that. So anyway, moving on. Number 10. Oh, which character gave this iconic over 9,000 meme? Come on, guys. It, serious? It, it's so easy, that one. It's Dragon Ball Z. Come on. This, come on, Maggie Quiz. Step up your game. Let's go. Come on. Number 11. This show got a reboot starring David Tennant, Danny Pudai. Did I say that right? And Ben Schwartz and Bobby Mynia. I don't know who that... Ooh. Darkwing Duck, DuckTales, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and he or He-Man. Oh, it was DuckTales, wasn't it? Because DuckTales... I heard about DuckTales getting remastered. Haven't watched it yet, but I'm going to. Hopefully. Oh, Miss Frizz! Miss Frizz! Number 12, what was the name of Miss Frizz's lizard? Ooh. Uh, Sal, Liz, Cammy, or Spot? Ooh, shit. I actually don't know. I actually don't know. I'm going to say it's Sal. And please tell me how wrong I am. <laughs> Last question. How do you rate this quiz? It was it was okay. It was pretty easy. But let's see my results. I know that I just aced that test. Come on. Show me the results. Here we go. Hold tight. Here we go. Drum roll. Come on. Give me. I reckon it did well. 10. I got 10. Your true 90s, baby. Let's go. That's how we do it. So there we go. I am I have proven that I'm a 90s kid. And you guys can check it out too. Um, I'm pretty sure there's more quizzes on Maggie Quiz. I was hoping to actually get like a, a theme song one. But I'll try to do that next week. And see if my knowledge of uh, cartoon music is up to scratch. But yeah, I'm going to leave that there, guys. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. Show me some love. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Let me know how you... do. Oh. Let me know how you did in the comments down below if you got a full 12 or you got less than that. If so, you did not grow up in the 90s, unless you did. In that case, I can't fault you for that. But <laughs> every single one of you stay awesome and I will catch you all in the next video. A cue the outro.